Next on Golf America, we are heading to Ocala, Florida, and we'll take you around one of the most unique active adult communities in the Sunshine State. Plus, golf fitness coach Mindy B offers up another exercise routine to help you get fit for golf and fit for life. And in our tip of the week, some simple steps on how to hit the fairway bunker shot. That's coming up next here on Golf America. Golf America, a weekly look at the courses you play and the game we love, is brought to you by Antigua, apparel for your game and by CyberLinksGolf.com, the home of golf course videos. When it comes to active adult communities in Florida, few places can match the offerings found here at On Top of the World. For the golfer, On Top of the World is as close to golf heaven as one can find. Here at On Top of the World, we have 54 holes of golf, three 18-hole championship golf courses. We have the Lynx, the Tortoise and the Hare that are strictly for our residents of On Top of the World. And then we have Candler Hills that is open to our residents and also open to the public. Designed by Gordon Lewis, Candler Hills is the newest of the three golf courses here at On Top of the World, having opened for play in 2005. And if you're familiar with Gordon Lewis designs, he often offers the player wide open fairways to hit to. Yet, here at Candler Hills, there is a bit of a twist to this Lewis design layout. Uh, we actually don't have any holes with water, but we've got 87 bunkers surrounding the golf course. So what we don't have in water, we certainly make up for in bunkers. Bunkers that can and will come into play. Yet, if you keep the ball in the short grass, you can certainly score on this layout. So if you can pick out the bunkers uh, and navigate those bunkers well, then you can score well. But there are a few bunkers that'll, that'll bite you. For example, on number three, uh, you'll find yourself in a fairway bunker that is, is there to, to penalize you as well. Throughout this golf course, you'll find green complexes that offer an ample amount of protection and vary in size and shape. Gordon Lewis also created a good mix of long and short par fours, above average length par threes, and very challenging par fives, including the very demanding par five fourth. At 662 yards from the back tee, this is, shall we say, a beast. and the second and third shots play uphill. You can imagine how long that hole can play. Following the tough par five fourth is a great par three at hole number five. What we have of hills sits up on a hill and when that wind is blowing, it can blow your ball just about anywhere. One day you might be into the wind, the next day downwind. The green that we do have there is well guarded with some bunkers on the left hand side so it can be it can be a challenge for anyone at 195 yards number eight here at candler hills is another great par three on this course my favorite par threes again waste bunkers all in front of the green so if you don't carry it all the way to the hole you're going to find yourself in a waste bunker but if you get over that you can certainly come out of there with a birdie or par 13 is very well guarded as well. The whole left side is a waste bunker and then the closer you get to the green is an actual bunker. When the pin is sitting back behind that bunker, it's extremely hard just to make par, let alone birdie. So if you get out of there with a par, especially when the wind's blowing, you're, you're doing something right. And as you close out your round here at Candler Hills, you'll do so on a very nice par four. 18 is a beautiful finishing hole. You've got out of bounds left and right, hitting back towards the clubhouse. Now with trouble found off the tee on both sides of the fairway, take aim for the center. If you don't hit a perfect drive, uh, you can find yourself in trouble. And it's, it's again, another well-guarded green with bunkers short left. Candler Hills offers five sets of tees, making it playable for any level of golfer. 
for the extremely talented player, the back black tees. This course stretches out to 7,233 yards. While offering a course rating of 74.2 and a slope of 125, the forward red tees played a 47.95. The fun and challenging Gordon Lewis designed Candler Hills Golf Club at On Top of the World, one of three fantastic golf courses you can enjoy as a member of this unique Ocala, Florida community. If you hit your ball in the fairway, you can, you can certainly shoot some low numbers out here. Fit for Golf and Fit for Life is brought to you by Antigua, apparel for your game. Hi, I'm Mindy Boysen with Fit for Golf, Fit for Life, and we're here at the TPC Scottsdale. You want more power in your golf swing? If you want more power, then you have to make sure you have a really good stable foundation and base in your swing. And you want to be able to rotate your body around that stable foundation base of your swing. So today what I'm going to do is show you an exercise I call the Russian twist. It's been around for a very long time. It uses a medicine ball, which is a heavy medicine ball, and we have a 10 pound ball today, and a Swiss ball. And I'm gonna have my uh, one of my favorite clients right here, her name is Jackie, and she happens to be, come on in Jack. She happens to be a competitive amateur golfer in the Scottsdale area. So have a seat on the ball here. This is one of Jackie's favorite moves because it really does challenge her as far as having a, a very stable um, lower base as well as rotating from her core. So she's going to sit nice and tall. She's going to roll down the ball. She's going to place her head on the ball just, just so, so it's comfortable. She doesn't want her head flying off the, you know, off the back side with her chin in the air. She's going to keep her arms as, as straight as possible. Her hips are going to be elevated. now. Her feet are a little bit wider than her hips right now, and that's okay, because that's where I want you to start. As you get better at better in this, then you're going to bring your feet closer together. So, you're on a ball. How do you know what size ball you should have? Well, when you're in this position, um, you should be able to have your shoulders, your hips, and your knees in one long line right here. Um, if the ball was too high, then her hips would be too low. If the ball was too low, her hips would be too high. So she has a, a perfectly sized ball right here at 65 centimeters. Her arms are straight, and she's just going to start to rotate back and forth. Slow and controlled. Now you can see that there is a cause and effect. Looks very, very good. And notice what she's doing. She's rotating her entire shoulder girdle and rib cage so that she can get more power around that area with a very strong lower base, as I said. Done. Good. And roll on up here. Okay, that's called the Russian twist. I did not make it up. It's been around for a very long time, but it is one of my favorite moves. So for that move and more, visit my website, fitforgolfusa.com. Fit for Golf and Fit for Life has been brought to you by Antigua, apparel for your game. When it opened back in 1982, the Lynx course at On Top of the World was the second layout built at Ocala, Florida's premier active adult community. And like the original Tortoise and the Hare course, the Lynx course was designed by On Top of the World developer Kenneth Colin. The Tortoise and the Hare features wide open fairways, leading to green complexes that are not overly protected. On the Lynx course, you'll find tighter fairways that are tree lined, green complexes with an ample amount of protection. Not very forgiving off the tee, you better hit it straight your scores are going to go up. Throughout the layout here on the links, you'll notice some unique elevation changes. Especially as you get back in there, uh, some of the holes will play uphill, some will play downhill. Three of the par fives all have very big oak trees in the middle of the fairway, so you've got to navigate those trees. The scoring on the links will all be determined on how well you strike your ball off the tee. 
Uh, the par fours you can score on, the par fives can be scored on. Like I said, with the trees in the middle of the fairway, if you can navigate those, uh, you can make some birdies on the par fives. The par threes can play difficult. We have some longer par threes out there uh, that do play a little uphill uh, that you better hit it in the middle of the green or you're looking at a higher score as well. Like the tortoise and the hare, the Lynx offers four sets of tees. For the back blue tees, this layout stretches out to 6,143 yards. Moving it up to the forward red tees reduces the length here on the Lynx to just under 5,000 yards. It's all about your tee shot. If you can get the ball in the fairway off the tee, you can score just about any of the holes. The Kenneth Cullen design Lynx course at On Top of the World just one of three fantastic layouts you can enjoy as a member of this Ocala, Florida, unique, active lifestyle community. What makes On Top of the World different from other Florida active adult communities? That answer is simple. It's dedication to excellence, whether it's building quality, energy efficient homes are offering all the amenities one seeks in an active adult lifestyle. A commitment developer Sidney Colin made back in the mid 70s when he began developing on top of the world here in Ocala, Florida. It's the same commitment his son Kenneth maintains to this day. Because it's that community feel and I think it's what it started on was the heart of who we are which speaks to some of the quality which speaks to the integrity the character that makes it a little bit more than just a home a little bit more than just a community and that started quite frankly with the, the family and what they wanted to to bring to Ocala and, and their community. And the great thing about on top of the world you could choose how you want to live Within the community, you'll find many innovative home designs. With floor plans and choices that range from cozy to grand. Every home is concrete blocked on the exterior walls, uh, as well as we have the professionally engineered trusses. We have the radiant barrier uh, that helps keep the heat out of the attic, which in turn has lower uh, cooling bills, which is important here in Florida. Innovation in design and construction, together with building the most high performance, energy efficient homes, makes On Top of the World stand out from other active adult communities. This portion of Golf America is brought to you by CyberLinksGolf.com, the home of golf course videos. Hello, I'm Matt Hibbs, Director of Golf for On Top of the World Communities, and I'm out here at Candler Hills Golf Club today, and I've found myself in a fairway bunker about 150 yards from the green. Today we're going to go over the basics on how to hit the fairway bunker shot. Okay, I found myself 150 yards from the green in a fairway bunker. The first thing I'm going to do is actually take one extra club. So typically I hit an 8 iron about 150 yards. Well today I'm going to be hitting a 7 iron out of this bunker. Second thing I want you to do, when taking your grip, please grip halfway down. That's going to ensure and help you hit the ball first, which is the most important part of this shot. Next thing I want you to do, we're going to dig our feet into the sand bunker to not only feel the sand, but also restrict our lower body movement in the swing, giving us a better foundation. The last thing I want you to do is you can see me, we're going to put the ball position in the back of the stance, restrict the body movement by digging into the sand, and taking a shot. So follow these tips when hitting a fairway bunker shot. Number one, make sure you take one extra club. Number two, grip down on the grip ever so slightly. Number three, Let's get the ball position a little bit more towards the back of your stance again to ensure we hit ball first. And the last step, let's dig your feet in, feel the sand, give yourself a better foundation when you're hitting the golf shot. Back in 1975, land developer Sidney Colin had a vision of creating a community unlike any other. 
With a wealth of experience building lifestyle communities, he purchased the 14,000 acre Circle Square Ranch as he set out to create an active adult community with an intimate hometown feel to it. Exclusively for active adults and filled with every amenity you can imagine. Now, if your passion is golf, On Top of the World offers 54 holes of championship-style golf. The first of three courses built here was the Lynx, followed up by the ever-popular Tortoise and the Hare Golf Course. Then in 2005, On Top of the World added its third layout when it opened Candler Hills Golf Club. For tennis lovers, On Top of the World has you covered with its 10 tennis courts. If aquatics is your thing, there are five swimming pools, including an indoor and outdoor pool at the Arbor Club Fitness Center. There are 12 pickleball courts. You'll also find bocce ball. And there's even a softball field. Racquetball, miniature golf. We have a hobby building with card room, uh, wood shop. Along with a number of different clubs. One of our most popular, the RC Flyers Club, is over 100 members where they fly their model airplanes over a five acre parcel of land. There's yes. even two parks for man's best friend. Within the ranch fitness center and spa, you'll find a day spa, a state-of-the-art fitness facility, along with group fitness rooms. If you want to take your exercise routine outside, you can with a new power park. Additionally, it's not overcrowded. You know, if you drive through the community, you'll see your walkers and you'll see your bikers. And you see the golf carts, but there's not overcrowding, which really tells you that there's plenty of recreation facilities and options available for the residents. And while there is plenty to do to exercise your body, there is just as much to do to exercise your mind. We have a lifelong learning center located conveniently by where they have access to over 13,000 classes and a lot of those are free for our residents. There are several different dining options within the community. The club at Candler Hills offers a casual yet sophisticated atmosphere overlooking the golf course. Here you can enjoy lunch, dinner, drinks in the bar, or in the restaurant's dining area. Over at the town square you can catch up with friends over a cup of coffee at Sid's or an ice cream at Mr. B's. The town square also serves as a backdrop to a weekly farmers market, fairs, and festivals. Also located in the town square is the Circle Square Cultural Center. This 850-seat entertainment venue features spectacular events and performances, theatrical productions, dances, and expos for On Top of the World residents. So there's plenty for people to do. I always say if they're not busy at On Top of the World, it's only their own fault. This portion of Golf America is brought to you by CyberLinksGolf.com, the home of golf course videos. In 1975, the late Sidney Colin had a vision to develop a community that would cater to those adults 55 and older who sought a place not to retire, but to enhance their active lifestyles. Colin's purchase of the Circle Square Ranch set into motion the development of On Top of the World in Ocala, Florida. The first of three golf courses to be built here was the Tortoise and the Hare, a layout that was designed by Kenneth Colin, Sidney Colin's son. Though not a golf course designer by profession, Kenneth Colin was able to create a fun and challenging layout that flowed ever so gently with the area's naturally rolling terrain. Throughout this course, you'll find plenty of dog legs. Not necessarily drivers off the tee. You've got to hit the ball and play and manage your golf ball well to score well on those golf courses. 
And while the tortoise and the hare opened for play back in 1982, it recently underwent renovation and reopened in 2015. Part of the renovation included the replacement of all the greens with Tiff Eagle. In addition, the majority of the sand bunkers were overhauled, including reshaping, draining, and adding new sand. So the greens over there are beautiful. Membership really enjoying our new renovation that we've put in. The tortoise and the hare offers five sets of tees. With the back blue tees, this layout plays to 6205. The forward red tees played at just over 4,700 yards. No, not a very long golf course by today's standards, but the challenge of playing this layout can be found in the undulating terrain on which it sits. But the greens definitely make up for that. You've got to hit it straight. You, you don't have very big greens, so if you don't put yourself in good positions off the tee to hit those greens, you can be looking at uh, bogeys or worse at times. The tortoise and the hare at On Top of the World Golf Course in Ocala, Florida. A great little layout at this luxurious golf course retirement community. Golf America, a weekly look at the courses you play and the game we love, has been brought to you by Antigua, apparel for your game, and by CyberLinksGolf.com, the home of golf course videos.